Hello and welcome to your Who's Coming At You reading. Hope you're staying safe and keeping well. Alright, let's have a look. Who's coming towards you in love? I love focusing on love. It is one of my favorite energies. Alright, who's coming towards you? Okay, straight up we have Three of Swords. Could be someone that was disappointed in love in their past. Could be you are disappointed in love and you're still healing. However, Three of Swords has a strong energy of sadness, grief and regret in regards to the heart. We have the Emperor. Could be an Aries energy. Could be you. I'm reading for fire signs right now. So the Emperor is all about someone who is, like I said, either an Aries or someone who is in management, um, a patriarch of sorts, someone who has a lot of responsibility in their life. Okay, and with responsibility comes great um, awareness of who they are and who's around them. So a lot of respect goes towards the emperor. People, a lot of people look up towards this person. There is Taurus energy with the emperor. Now, emperor with the hierophant has a strong spiritual leadership vibe. Okay, so it could be a Taurus and Aries, or alternatively, it could very well be a very spiritual Aries, someone who sees the hidden, okay, because the Hierophant is all about what is unseen and not in mainstream knowledge. That's why people go to the Hierophant for um, to, to find things out on the sp of a spiritual nature. The Hierophant is also a strong commitment energy where we're very traditional in our loyalty, our trust and our commitment. Okay, it's strong ritual energy involved in the Hierophant. With the Emperor, a lot of responsibility is there too. Now let's clarify. The Three of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a, um, a, a definite ending, a severance. And it, it involves a disappointment in love as well. Uh, Ten of Swords is going through a dark night where we um, emerge with an awakening. Where we're starting to see love because it's three of swords and uh, we're starting to see relationships and how we affect others and what we kind of want in our partner um, and it, we're emerging with a lot of new perception and knowledge with the ten of swords the love is definitely about a lover our relationship now for some of you it could very well be taking control of a relationship of a choice in love somebody that we've chosen and that chose us sometimes it is all about a choice between two okay it could also be a gemini around you page of cups which is quite beautiful however with the hierophant if it is a taurus around you it could very well be that this taurus may have been a bit immature in their love uh, a bit inexperienced or a bit fantastical in their mindset uh, with what love is they weren't at the same maturity level as you with the lovers if you are you know, uh, in that situation, I guess it could also be that this hierophant is a fantasy, a dream, um, not it, not quite real yet. So you may have been dreaming of a love, of a commitment, um, and hoping that it works out. So I'm going to get the right awaits and see what else we've got to clarify. So let's clarify the Three of Swords to begin and see what the disappointment in love was for you. Now, this weekend only I'm holding um, a special on my channel where I'm offering mini readings again. You can check mini readings out 
in my services page in the description box below. Now Three of Swords is clarified by the Magician and the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is all about moving forward towards the future, towards a bright future. Now the Magician is you have everything that is needed in order to emerge um, and to take steps towards a good happy future three of wands sometimes can indicate travel and relocation depending on if another card comes out the emperor is clarified by ten of wands ten of wands is a heavy burden that is placed on the emperor's shoulders um, the emperor already has a lot of responsibility and a lot going on that he needs to take care of or she um, now with the ten of wands it just means that this this disappointment in love it kind of gives the extra um, extra weight on on the shoulders of this person of you um, because you are fire and the ten of wands and the three of wands is also fire um, the swords being there kind of makes me feel like this is a gemini that you're dealing with but it doesn't have to be now the magician having everything that is needed possibly for this love to be successful however it turned into a ten of wands which is something that you probably don't need the devil devil is a big um, temptation okay maybe even a toxic energy could be a capricorn okay so the devil is um, definitely uh, some kind of toxicity between you and this this situation um, so what i'm seeing here is a commitment that may have turned toxic ten of swords is clarified by a tower tower is an unexpected sudden shift in energy where something that you were building and developing is rerouted onto a different path your angels and your spirit guides are saying you're trying to build something but it's not meant to be for you right now so we're going to divert your energy into another another um, situation so the tower is you know what you were trying to build and develop um, is not working out so the universe is stepping in saying i'm going to place you in another path tower is aries scorpio energy more swords with the gemini energy kind of reiterating the air sign quality but doesn't have to be five of swords is definitely a betrayal of some sort feeling very heavily betrayed our trust is gone somebody's done the bad in regards to us and how how we planned the future moving into a ten of wands making things even more difficult in our life now um five of swords is definitely somebody um not treating you very well and the lovers you, you really wanted this to work um however you, the universe might be saying it's time to consider another another situation healing from this pain a leo may be coming towards you okay with the page of cups it indicates a possible new love a crush a feeling that is starting to develop between you and someone else like i said it could be a leo now we do have taurus and capricorn there too however i don't feel that this is something that you're moving towards i feel that this is something more so um, strength is also loyalty it's also tenacity patience and the strength to carry on forward so that you can definitely begin something new in your life all right so let's clarify and get the gypsy oracle and see what else we've got so let's have a look further into what is, who is coming towards you in love old woman is kind of like making sense because old woman is very much the energy of the old and stale as well as responsibilities that are holding you down sometimes it depicts an ex 
loyalty is around you saying that you are a very loyal and tenacious person it could also be this person here perhaps a leo a friend somebody that you're getting to know that you've got good intentions towards and also has good intentions towards you um yeah the the progress okay so you may be very loyal to someone from your past okay and you're possibly considering progressing towards them anyway not wanting to let you go let let them go um, with the devil it's almost like they're irresistible it's like i cannot stop with this person could also be vice versa for some of you thoughts constantly thinking about them they're constantly thinking about you as well loyalty thinking about each other a friend <coughs> excuse me servant is a yes person somebody very submissive somebody that um, would just say yes to you is very easygoing very lenient and flexible in their ways this person is not argumentative they're very passive that is servant so let's go ahead and get my fin de siècle kippa mixed with the lemonade and see what else comes out we have healing which is beautiful healing something this could very well be your person from the past wanting to return okay this is online a very strong spirituality could also be ancestors around you loved ones on the other side um, the lilies uh, depending on the the surrounding cards but the lilies also could indicate for some of you a strong chemistry with you and someone else the lovers and the devil kind of has that obsessive love um, quality and the house could be someone that lives nearby someone that you're actually living with the house is also something very stable and secure okay um with the stars and the house it's kind of like uh, someone could be working online at home you know i need to see other work cards for that but the stars is online at home the internet at home healing the internet at home maybe there's been some internet issues at home so that's just for some of you maybe a personal message non-activity so perhaps there has been non-activity between you and this person or maybe your internet's been down for a little while i'm not sure why that's coming out but that's just a little message there um healing non-activity spirituality or even in internet if the sun comes out it's definitely something to do with electricity official person someone straight and narrow someone who does things by the book the official person is also a symbol for someone in law enforcement or the military um, it could very well be they're writing to you you haven't heard from them in a while however they'll be writing to you to let you know they're coming home that's just a little message for someone out there a coffin again so you know with the coffin showing up twice there may be an ending to a situation the whip and the cross okay the whip strong um i guess sexual energy with the lilies and the whip that's what's coming through um the whip also indicates something very fast now um the cross has a destined energy much like the stars the stars and the cross a destiny of some sort something very quick um now you know there are there's just a few signs in this reading that are showing up but they're not completely that you know there may be a situation of a severance between you and somebody else an on again off again situation that is it's almost like definitely over i'm done with this i'm moving on and then they come back or you you go back to them and then it's you know it works for a little while and then it doesn't and then it's like definitely over you know we're, we're not doing this anymore and then they come back or whatever you heal and patch up 
it's got that vibe because the coffin coming up twice and then healing twice and then this person you know maybe they're you know in law enforcement the military or just someone who does things straight and narrow by the book okay uh, it's like quick conflict and then it's healed and then it, it feels like destiny to keep coming back and an expectation as well it's almost like an expectation that you know over or goodbye does not mean over and goodbye in this this relationship it's like you know that they'll always be around and you know that there is no goodbyes in this in this relationship so that is what's coming out for you. Um, let me know how that resonates and what that means to you. If it does resonate, comment below. Let me know that I connected with you. And I hope it gave you some guidance and light and healing messages. Consider joining my membership if you want to see the videos before anybody else. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.